Recently, I made a video about AT&T's free iPhone deals. This video is about T-Mobile's free iPhone 13 deals. So if you're ready to sell your soul to T-Mobile, then suit up. We're talking iPhone 13 deals for free from T-Mobile and how you can get the best deal possible. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistle Out TV. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to Whistlout TV. I come out with new videos every week and we're doing shorts as well. So if you wanna see more and learn more about the telecom industry, then be sure to subscribe. Also follow us on social media if you feel so inclined. We're on every platform bringing you the best deals from telecom straight to your feed so you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting. So in this video today, we're gonna to go over a few deals T-Mobile has for current and new customers in terms of upgrading your cell phone to the new iPhone 13 series, whether that be the mini, just the normal one, the Pro or the Pro Max. Now, before I go any further, I always get blown up in the comments that you didn't mention that T-Mobile includes taxes and fees with their expensive plans. <sighs> okay, sorry. So now you don't have to comment it. I will mention it. Yes, T-Mobile does include taxes and fees with their monthly plan pricing with T-Mobile Magenta and T-Mobile Magenta Max. So those are their two most expensive plans. There are no taxes and fees. Those are included in the monthly payment. Whereas with the higher end plans for Verizon and AT&T, those taxes aren't included, but it's hard to fully calculate those taxes and fees because the taxes are different in every state and then every city. And so sometimes it's a few dollars, sometimes it's more, but there we go. I have mentioned it. There's the disclaimer. So this first deal is kind of the main deal that every carrier offers. You trade in your old device, you can get up to $1,000 in credit for your device that you traded in. Then you're going to buy the iPhone 13 from T-Mobile on an installment plan that is 30 months long. And then instead of paying a monthly installment fee for your phone every month, T-Mobile will cancel that out with your trade-in credit. So then really what's only left on your cell phone bill is the cost of your cell phone plan. Obviously, the newer your phone, the more money you can get. Really, the world is your oyster depending on whatever device you have. If it has a screen, you can trade it in. You can trade in watches, you can trade in laptops. Um, but for the most part, trading in your phone makes the most sense. Now to get the full deal, to really get in on this and get the full $1,000, you do have to sign up for T-Mobile Magenta Max, which is $85 a month. And then you are committed to 30 months on Magenta Max because that is the length of the their installment plan. So although you get a free iPhone 13 potentially or heavily discounted iPhone 13 Pro Max, you still are paying for a pretty expensive cell phone plan. And then obviously the more lines you add on to this plan, the cheaper it gets per line. But for one person, it's $85 a month. To learn more about Magenta Max, you can check out our T-Mobile playlist where we go over all of their plans and you can really get a better idea of what is involved in that plan. In my previous video about AT&T's deal, I do a cost breakdown of what is the best bang for your buck going with Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile in terms of this $1,000 trade-in deal. Um, AT&T's just does come out to be a fair bit cheaper than T-Mobile. With that being said, T-Mobile does include taxes and fees where AT&T doesn't, so it might end up leveling out. But like I mentioned before, taxes and fees are different in every city depending on where you live, and so you can't fully figure that out. So it might be closer, but T-Mobile is about $360 $60 more expensive than AT&T in the long run going with T-Mobile. But if you're a T-Mobile fan, if you rep the magenta, then go for it. It's still a decent deal. Okay, that's the first deal to get the free iPhone 13. The second trade-in deal from T-Mobile is very similar to the first one, except you only get up to $500 in credit for a top of the line trade-in. But here's the catch. It could be good or bad, depending. You don't have to sign up for their most expensive plan. You don't have to go with magenta. You can go with any plan on T-Mobile mobile and you will still get $500 off or your trade-in will be worth $500 and that will be credited to your account again over 30 months. So it's not for free, but you don't have to get on the expensive plans. So it kind of all evens out in the big scope of things. There are two more deals from T-Mobile. One is a BOGO deal, a buy one, get one free deal, and the other is a final trade-in deal. If you wanna learn about the BOGO deal, if you wanna to switch to T-Mobile, this is a great option. I'm putting it all the details in our YouTube short section and you can look for it up here where I have linked to that video to learn all about the T-Mobile buy one, get one free for the iPhone 13. So now we've come to the last deal from T-Mobile in terms of getting a free or heavily discounted new iPhone 13. It's called their 
iPhone Forever program. I believe they have a similar thing with Androids as well, Android Forever, but we're talking about iPhones today. So it's iPhone Forever. It doesn't cost anything to sign up for it, but what you do is you trade in your phone for a credit, $800, and then every two years you keep trading in your device for an $800 credit to get the newest, best brand new device of that year. So the lease, it's, it's basically you're leasing your phone for 24 months at a time, upgrading and getting a new phone. Again, the catch here is that you do need to be on Magenta Max to be on the iPhone Forever program. But if you like T-Mobile, you like the Magenta Max plan, then you should be good to go. In theory, I generally like this idea of not really owning your phone, but continuing to get upgrades for relatively cheap. You're never gonna be paying for the full cost of an iPhone because the trading credit is worth so much and then you kind of just repeat the cycle over and over again. However, I actually like to own my devices and sometimes I keep my phones for two to three years. So upgrading every 24 months isn't necessarily a huge perk for me, but it's definitely an option for people who like to stay up to date, but maybe don't mind upgrading every other year instead of some people who are tech heads like to upgrade year after year. So that is an option for you from T-Mobile, the iPhone Forever program. That's it for the video today. Those are T-Mobile's deals right now for the iPhone 13 series for getting it for free or heavily discounted. If you have any questions, drop them below. Be sure again to follow us on all of our social media platforms. I'm Sherry Riggs. Thanks for watching Whistle Out TV. Would you go for any of these deals from T-Mobile? Why or why not? Drop your comments below. I'd love to hear from you.